good day everyone and welcome back to my channel first world traveler now this video is the final video of my japan playlist you may be about to point something out yes i'm no longer in japan where i am will be revealed at the end of this video so you probably come across this video because maybe you're planning a trip to japan maybe you're looking for japan tips or maybe you're looking for a bit of a summary about someone's trip in japan to help you decide on where you're going to go in japan also this video is to explain why I believe Japan is the best country in the world. Now, I've been to many countries in the world and I don't just make this as a sweeping statement, you know, just because I've left there and I've still got the adrenaline and excitement in me. It is based on some actual proper facts. And these are four things. So let me go into those. And before we start, make sure you check out my Japan playlist, which is linked in the description below. Also, every single video, all 15 of them, are also linked separately. Okay, on to the four different points. Point number one is... The people. Now, if you've been traveling for a while or you're a solo traveler, you'll know that one of the things that really makes the difference in terms of your general experience in a country is the people and how the people are. So I've been to some countries where I found people to be rude, horrible, etc. And they really make your general experience in that country awful and you don't want to go back. However, Japan is the complete opposite. I did not have one bad experience at all, whether you're talking about an old woman on the street or a businessman in a suit or a gang of little kids wanting to learn their English. I did not find one single issue. I found everyone to be welcoming, helpful, friendly, absolutely brilliant. And that made my experience in Japan so much better. Okay, point number two is getting around. Oh my God. So one of the things I was most apprehensive about before I got to Japan was getting around. I heard all sorts of horror stories about the trains and everything's in Japanese, nothing's in English. Well, I was pleasantly surprised. Japan has probably the best public transport system in the world. I'm not exaggerating there. It is true. Whether you're planning on getting the Shinkansen, whether you're getting a local train, whether you're getting a subway in whatever city you're in, it's absolutely brilliant. The trains are always on time. The people are helpful, beyond helpful. You'd have nothing to worry about if you have concerns in terms of travel in Japan. Yes, the Shinkansen is expensive. However, if you've checked out my Japan Rail Pass video, you know that you don't necessarily need to get a Japan Rail Pass. Check that out and decide for yourself. Okay, point number three is accommodation. Now, if you're a budget backpacker, you may be slightly apprehensive about coming to Japan because you've heard that Japan hostels are extremely expensive. Yes, that is the case in some ways. However, it's not through the roof. So where you may go to something like Cambodia or Vietnam and be able to find a hostel for three pounds, three British pounds to five pounds a night, Japanese hostels are generally from 15 pounds to 20 pounds on average. However, to be honest, that's what you expect when you go to Japan because it is more expensive it's not so much of a backpacker destination compared to places like Thailand, Cambodia, Vietnam. And additionally, the hostels are amazing. I cannot stress how amazing they are. Check out my one from Asso. This is a place that had the heated toilet seats. It had the conditioner in the bathroom. It had everything I possibly could have asked for. A huge difference with these hostels in Japan is they all have kitchens, which means you can save money by cooking your own stuff instead of having to eat out all the time, which is my biggest bugbear about traveling, 100%. On the flip side, you do have some slightly horrendous ones. Check out my Yokohama video, where it was quite possibly the worst hostel I've ever stayed in in my absolute life. It was awful. However, that's what happens when you're traveling. You can't expect everything to be amazing all the time. And point number four, the final one, is things to do oh my god there is literally so much to do and see in japan it's not possible to do it in one trip no matter how long you stay for additionally there are so many different routes you can take through japan depending on what you're interested in so for example as you may have seen from my videos i'm interested in things like volcanoes war that sort of stuff the history and geography of japan alternatively you might be interested in things like the food the culture geisha girls temples shrines all that sort of stuff. If you want to see all that sort of stuff, go to places like Kyoto or Osaka, Nagoya, which I didn't go to. Things to do in Japan are amazing. Make sure you go to Mount Fuji and Mount Aso. There's a tip. So they're my four things, which are why I believe Japan is the best place to go in the world. See what you think. Have you been to Japan? Let me know in the comments below what your views are, because obviously everyone will have different views. Now, one final thing before I leave Japan for good, 
are the Japan Awards. What are these, you may ask? I'm going to give some awards to certain things in Japan. Basically my best bits. So here we go. Okay, Japan Award number one, best food. Now you'll know from my channel, if you have watched me for a while, that I do not like food that isn't English. Asian food doesn't agree with my system whatsoever. No offence by that, but it really doesn't agree with me. However, the best food I had in Japan, without a doubt, has to be Kobe beef. In Kobe, obviously. It was absolutely stunning. I only had a small amount, and it was very cheap, the, the one I had. However, if you've got the money, make sure you go to a nice restaurant, get a bit of fillet steak. It's absolutely gorgeous. I've never had beef like that in my life. People may exaggerate about Kobe beef, but it's all true. You've got to have it. Okay, award number two is best accommodation. This will come as no surprise. I've already mentioned it in this video. It's the one in Asso, Asso based backpackers. I was blown away, absolutely stunning. I'm playing some shots of that place as I speak right now. It was stunning. The kitchen, everything. You've got the katatsu where you can sit in a proper Japanese seating area, heated underneath. Absolutely stunning. I've never had a better hostel in my life. Okay, award number three is best thing to do. This will probably come as no surprise. See if you can guess it. Yes, it's Tokyo Mario Kart. Of course it has to be Tokyo Mario Kart. I was blown away. The adrenaline, the excitement, the laughing. It was hilarious. It was the best thing I've ever done, ever probably. It was so much fun. And as well as being so much fun and just ridiculous, it allows you to see so much of Tokyo. So if you just get to Tokyo and you're concerned about getting around Tokyo and oh, how am I gonna see all this? Jump in a Tokyo Mario Kart because you can see Shibuya Crossing, you can see Shinjuku, you can see everything. So make sure you do it. And finally, award number four. This is the best one. It is the best place in Japan. There's a few contenders for this, but again, have a think if you can guess which one I'm gonna say. But the award has to go to Hiroshima. Absolutely Hiroshima, 100%. The cherry blossom, which is one reason why many people come to Japan, was fantastic, absolutely amazing, totally beautiful. The weather was amazing, which probably helped my decision. And as well, the history go to the atomic bomb dome absolutely amazing to see that sort of thing if you're interested in history and the history of japan particularly it's a place you have to go additionally hiroshima is quite small so you can walk around it kind of the transport is great the trams are brilliant all in all hiroshima was absolutely wicked so before i go for a swim lucky me i hope you enjoyed my japan playlist all 15 videos of it and i really hope that it has been useful to anyone who is planning a trip to Japan, which is why I do my YouTube channel, basically, to help others. If you've found my playlist useful, or just this video, make sure you do the like, leave a comment as well, and it'd be great if you could subscribe to my channel, and I'd love to check out your channels as well. So, on that note, I'll catch you later.